Hi, so in this lesson, I want to show you how to solve problems involving three-part ratios. And to do this, we're going to split the ratio up into two two-parts. So for question A, we have a three-part ratio, A to B to C. And we've been told that the ratio A to B is 5 to 1, and the ratio B to C is 3 to 2. And we've been asked to work out a value of A and C, when b is equal to 12. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to write this as two two-part ratios. The first one will be a to b, and the second one will be b to c. And we can see from the information given that for a to b, we have a ratio 5 to 1. So when a is 5, b is equal to 1. And for b to c, we have a ratio 3 to 2. So when b is equal to 3, c is equal to 2. And in both parts of our question, we've also been told that b is equal to 12. So we can write this under the 1 and under the 3. So now we need to work out the value of a when b is 12 and the value of c for the same. So to begin, we'll multiply the 1 by 12 to make the 12. And by multiplying both sides by 12, the ratio keeps balance. And 5 times 12 is 60. So this is the value of x. x is equal to 60. And for the second ratio, we need to multiply the 3 by 4 to make 12. And 2 times 4 gives us a value of c is equal to 8. And this is our value of y. Okay, so for our second question, we've been given the ratio e to f to g, where e to f is 3 to 4, and f to g is 3 to 2. And we've been given a common value for f, which is 24. So do you want to try and work out a value of e and g when f is 24? You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through a work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So our two two-part ratios are e to f and f to g. So for e to f, we've been given 3 to 4. And for f to g, we've been given 3 to 2. And in both ratios, f is 24. So we can write this under a 3 and under a 4. So to work out e, we're going to multiply the 4 by 6 to make 24. We'll do the same to the e side. So when f is 24, e will equal 18. And this is our x value. And now to work out g, we'll multiply by 3 by 8 to make 24. And 2 times 8 will give us 16. So this will be our value of y. OK, let's try one more question. So this is an exam style question, where we're being told that the ratio of blue to red counters in a bag is 3 to 1, and the ratio of red to green counters in the same bag is 2 to 5. We've been asked to work out the ratio of blue to green counters, and then for part 2, when there are 15 green counters, how many are blue? OK, so do you want to try this question yourself? And when you come back, we can go through your work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to write a ratio for blue to red, which is 3 to 1. So we have blue to red as 3 to 1. And then the next part, we have red to green, which is 2 to 5. So we can write this. Red to green is 2 to 5. And now you can see that the red is the colour which connects the two two-part ratios. So all we need to do is to write in this ratio blue to red, where we have two red. By multiplying this by two, we can do the same to a blue side, and we get six. So now, when we have two red, we have six blue and five green. So this is our ratio. Blue to green is six. To five. So for part two, 
If there are 15 green counters, how many are blue? Well, we can multiply this by 3 to make 15 green. We'll do the same to the blue side, and we get 18 blue. So there will be 18 blue counters. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.